Hi, this is Dean Julia from Historic Trinity Episcopal Cathedral with yet another short take for your prayer and your pondering this week. You know, for churches that use the Revised Common Lectionary, which is a three-year cycle of biblical readings curated for use in church on Sundays, we're in the midst of a season of teachings about stewardship of property. Over the next several past several weeks, actually, the Gospel of Matthew has given us a whole series of parables about wealth and work, poverty and pettiness. In characteristic rabbinic style, the stories in the 21st and 22nd chapters of Matthew lend themselves to multiple interpretations, but in general, they call the wealthy to account. That's consistent. Pretty much the entire sweep of biblical history advocates for care for, for the poor and fair distribution of God's resources. But then comes the unexpected teaching of Matthew twenty-two twenty-one, 21, which many of us will hear this Sunday. Give therefore to the emperor that the things that are the emperor's and to God the things that are God, the famous render unto Caesar verse from the King James Version. Now, is this a teaching about the importance of tax paying intended for faithful people at all times and circumstances? Given the oppressive circumstances of Roman occupation in Jesus's day and Matthew's own status as a former tax collector, probably not. Rather, it is a specific response to a question that was intended to trap Jesus into choosing among loyalties, any one of which might have gotten him killed. His savvy answer avoids the trap, but also does point us to a deeper choice that we all must make. What is the coin of our ultimate loyalty? The money with which we engage in commerce and taxation? or the unlimited currency of God's love.